Uh, this one, we're going to be talking about some more advanced layer techniques. Uh, full disclosure, I have a Ricola in my mouth right now because I'm sick. I got a cold. Ricola. I'm going to try my best here, so please don't, uns don't uns unsubscribe. I'm sick. How dare you unsubscribe from a sick person. Um, uh, what was I saying? Right, layers. Okay, so um, let's just get started here. So I, I always like to do this in the beginning to make sure your screen looks like my screen by going up to Window, Studio, Reset Studio, just to make sure our screens look the same. So we're just going to start by adding some text. So I'm going to type, grab the text tool in, the, in my tools here. I'm going to drag, click, and I'm going to type the word uh, design. Too big, but I'm going to write the word design. Okay, I'm going to shrink it down by grabbing these nodes here. <coughs> Sorry about my coughing, guys. I'll try to edit it out if I can. Or I won't. We'll see. All right, so I'm just going to grab a bolder font uh, impact. Okay, so I got some text here. Very exciting. Now I want to grab a picture or a texture, and I want to put it inside this text. So if you look at my layers panel on the right, I just have my text here, nothing too exciting. I'm going to go to the stock panel here, and I'm going to type, uh, actually, I'm going to grab this texture. It's gold. I'm going to grab this picture right out of here, and I'm going to drag it onto my canvas. And it's really big, so I'm going to zoom out, shrink it down a little bit. And now in my layers panel, I have a picture of gold, so I'm just going to rename this gold. And I have my text. I'm going to move my text up to the top so you can see it. Okay, so I want to take this gold and I want to put it inside this text. Really simple to do. There's a mistake that can easily be made because there's something called masking techniques and there's clipping techniques. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to click on the gold texture because we want to insert it inside that text. I'm going to click hold and drag it on top of this layer. And when I do that, you can see it's it's gone inside it. It's clipped inside and the gold is now embedded in the text. So if you'll notice too on my layers panel on the right, the bar that I'm holding over top is lit up totally blue. The whole bar is lit up blue. Let me show you something that you can do, which is a mistake, um, or not a mistake, but maybe not what you're looking for at the moment. I'm going to pull this back. If I grab this gold and I drag it to the thumbnail in my layer, like on design to the left here, see how that blue box is lighting up? Just the box, not the whole layer. This is a masking technique, so you're not quite seeing the same thing. It, it operates differently, and I'll explain it in another video. But for now, I just want to make sure when you when you pull your mo or your layer, whatever your texture is, over top of the thumbnail, it's going to act differently. So what you want to do is you want to pull it over top to the right and make sure the whole bar gets lit up. Okay, perfect. So now we have this texture inside the text. And you'll notice now in my layers panel, it looks like it's disappeared. But really now this, what they call, this has become a parent layer. And if I click this little arrow here, it's right below it. So this is technically a parent layer and this is a child layer. So it's a child to the design text because I, I basically said, hey, take this and put it inside this, which has made it a child to the parent layer. So that, and then once I'm, once I've done this, I'm clicked on the gold layer, the actual texture now, not the text. I can move this around, resize it, you know, uh, flip it around, do, do whatever, right? Like I could rotate this, whatever. And, and it's only going to show as big as the picture is. So if I shrunk the picture down to here, you're only going to see it as big as the actual picture is, right? So that is how you, it's called clipping, how you clip something into text. I'll do another quick example. So let's just delete this. And I'm going to type the word um, green. Sure, green is cool. And let's use another text, uh, whatever. It's not that different, but we're going to use this one. Okay, I'm going to search for leaf. Some, see what we come up with, something cool. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Nope, nope, don't like it, don't like it, don't like it, don't like it, um, don't like it. It's taking longer than I thought, guys. Thought I'd just grab something cool and we'd be on our way. Uh, let's use whatever, this one. So I'm dragging, I'm clicking on this picture, I'm just dragging it in. It's a big picture, so I'm going to zoom out and sh oops, shrink it down. And I want to pull this, again, inside the text. So let's go back to our layers panel. Right now, my picture is sitting on top of the text, so you can't see the text. So that's okay. We can just rearrange it. I'm going to click on the uh, picture, the leaves one, and I'm just going to drag it and put it right below where it says green. And I'm going to make the green text white just so you can see it. It won't matter once we clip it, but I just want to make it obvious. Okay. So again, in our layers panel, I want this picture inside this text. So I'm going to click on my picture. I'm going to click up and drag up onto this one and make sure that I am make sure I'm going more so to the right, not on the thumbnail. So the whole layer is lit up in blue, the whole line. And when I do that, I can now, I now have a parent layer 
and I have a child layer. I can move this picture around. And if I say I didn't like this or I wanted to remove the picture, but I say I wanted to keep the picture but not in this text, I can just click on this picture and just drag it out. And then it's still, it's its own thing. It's still there. Text is white right now, so you can't see it, but it's still there. So that is um, parent and child layer. And you can do multiple parents, multiple, or sorry, multiple childs to a parent layer. You can also group things, which is something else I'll talk about in another video. Uh, again, don't make this mistake of dragging it on the thumbnail because that's a masking behavior that doesn't work the same way. It's different. So let's go and make sure we drag and the whole bar goes blue more to the right. And that will be how we'll clip it inside. So I'm going to cough. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry, everybody. Um, what else can we do here? I'm going to add something else just to show you another um, layer. Let's add an effect. So I'm going to add an effect. As you can see right now on my layers panel, I'm in the child layer. I'm below the screen text here. I'm going to add a HSL. Um, that's hue, saturation, luminosity. So now I have it and you can see if I minimize this, it's part of this parent child group. So parent, child, child. Anything I change in here is, is going to affect it. So let me just start pulling the slider around a little bit and making this look different. It looks pretty terrible, but that's okay. So you can see here, I have the text, which is the parent. I have this effect, which has changed the color. And I also have the picture itself, which I can still move around. So again, in the layers panel, parent, child, child. So that's how you can clip things in and make some pretty cool stuff. I'll show you uh, just shapes as well to show you you can do the same thing. So let's grab a shape. Let's grab a circle. And I'm going to just draw a circle out here. I'm going to change the color to something just so you can see it. This color, sure, that works. I'm going to turn off the stroke. Okay, so let's grab a picture. Let's grab the moon. Let's grab the moon. Okay, cool. So I'm going to grab a moon. Let's grab a moon that's got something more interesting. Um, let's grab this thing, actually. Let's grab this. I'm going to grab this picture and pull it in. And it's going to be really big, so I'm going to zoom out and just make my picture a little bit smaller. And what I want to do, I want to put this picture inside that circle. I'm going to confine it to that. So I'm going to go back to my layers. Now my picture is on top. My ellipse, my circle is below. I'm going to drag this just so I can see it. And now I want to um, pull this picture into this little circle so it fills the circle. So again, you can... Click, drag it up, make sure the, the whole uh, line is highlighted, and then you can release. And once you do, again, you have a parent layer, you click the arrow, and then you have your child layer. And when, once I click on this child layer, I can move this picture around or resize it. If I go to the ellipse and resize it, it'll follow because it's clipped inside. So this picture is, is going to follow wherever I go because it's clipped inside. Masking would be something different, which I'll talk about later. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick example of what parent layers are and child layers. If I wanted to add like, you know, you can paint in these things, you can add different stuff. I'm going to add a pixel layer, which is kind of like another, just a, just a layer you can draw on or paint on or whatever. I'm going to add a pixel layer. Now it's popped up as a child. I'm going to go to my, uh, my paintbrush tool and I'm just going to grab a random paintbrush here. Maybe something a little bit more exciting. Uh, sure. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to make the color just blue so you can see it maybe like this. Go back to my layers panel. Now, you can see when I paint, it's just inside this picture. It's not going outside here because it's clipped inside of this child layer. If I create a new layer and I pulled it outside of this and I paint, it'll go everywhere because it's sitting sort of, not only is it sitting on top of them, but it's not confined to its own layer. So again, if I go back, delete that one. If I go back in here, anything I paint, is stuck inside this layer because it's clipped inside. And you can do all kinds of crazy effects by doing that. I just wanted to give you a quick breakdown of child and parent layers. Hopefully it's helpful. If you have any questions, I'll try to clear it up uh, in the comments. Just let me know. And thank you for watching.